whiskey lovers and welcome to another one of Mark's whiskey ramblings and this one is a bit of a celebratory rambling because well these ramblings and the accompanying blog that I run Wifi which is Dutch for whiskey for iedereen which basically translates into hey everybody should drink whiskey uh, I'm celebrating 10 years now obviously I cannot let this pass without a special whiskey so I went on the lookout for a special whiskey together with Nick and Ilse who are my cons co-conspirators in in Vivi and uh, well a single malt would have been the logical choice wouldn't it but then I came across this very special cask a single space side sherry cask that was filled with not one but two new makes at the beginning so that's what they call blended at birth now I am not allowed to tell you which two new makes went in there, but it was 50% of this space cider, 50% of that space cider. What I can disclose is that the first distillery was founded in 1824, the second distillery in 1878 by someone who worked at the former. I'm sure the Sherlock Holmes in you will figure it out, but I cannot tell you which ones it were. But they were blended at birth and then this cask was filled in 1993. And so it matured for a quarter century. 25 years later, this is what we get. And when I came across this single space side sherry cask, it was at that time now, when it was bottled, 47.1% ABV. So this is not a single malt. This is two single malts. So it's a blended malt, technically. And uh, it matured for a quarter century before Weavy was allowed to draw 100 bottles from that casks from that cask so i've got me 100 bottles of this to celebrate 10 years of whiskey ramblings 10 years of weaving and uh wow will you look at that color is that beautiful or what oh my god when i when i first sipped it i was like search no more hallelujah i found my my special whiskey to celebrate 10 years of weaving a beautiful coppery color it clings to the glass oh my god this is going to prove that a blend well it's a blended mold with only two single malts but still single malts are the highest of the highest but they're a bit like a Woody Allen film you know they're a bit like you like him or you hate him they, they have these special characteristics I like him I mean the single malts not so much the Woody Allen films but I do like my single malts but then I came across this one and like I said I was blown away and I hope you will be too. So let's give this one a go. This coppery, amber coppery blended malt at 47.1% ABV on the nose. Oh, it's beautifully layered on, on dark fruit. Dark fruit in a stew. I get plums and raisins. I get some chocolate and coffee. But I also get hazelnuts and caramel some nougat and some butterscotch this is really rich and layered this is it's magnificent i get some mocha some some sniffing tobacco and it's nicely seasoned with a bit of nutmeg a bit of cloves some black pepper maybe some eucalyptus and camphor this is really a broad nose this is very complex in my opinion it's simply stunning wow. on the palate Quite the sturdy arrival still very spicy as well it's spicy and honey sweet on on those same dark fruits but it's a dark marmalade now and it's joined by a bitter note from Seville oranges a bit of tannins from the oak some leathery notes but I also get some some toasted oak and and some 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 honey to soften things up there's a candy like hint in the back and some cinnamon appears oh it's and some licorice as well this is really it's so well balanced you know it's got it's got all these fruity dark fruity notes but some honey as well and then some spices and some some leathery notes but it's very well balanced and there's even though it's only 47.1 percent abv it's certainly got some punch to it beautiful whiskey wow on the finish Finishes long, feisty, spicy, warming, and then soothing. 
it lingers. Oh, it's so, so, so well balanced. Wow. Well, it goes without saying that uh, Nick Ilson and myself, we are extremely proud of this whiskey and, and it's extremely lucky actually that we were able to get 100 bottles from this single space side sherry cask. This blended malt will blow you away and it will be released on the 28th of October 2019 which is 10 years to the day when I first launched my blog Wivy, uh, when I set my first steps into this larger world of beautiful whiskey. And that's all for this whiskey rambling and I hope you will enjoy this whiskey as much as I do and until then may the blended malt be with you.